Just last week, I signed a new world-leading migration and economic development partnership with Rwanda. Under this partnership, those who travel to the UK by illegal and dangerous routes, including by small boats across the Channel, may be relocated to Rwanda, where they will have their asylum claims considered. We've seen over the last week, Mr Speaker, this unworkable, shameful and desperate attempt to distract from the Prime Minister's law-breaking that the Home Secretary should not go along with because she is undermining not just respect for the rule of law but also her office by providing cover for him. The policies that she has announced today are unworkable, unethical and extortionate in the cost for the British taxpayer. There is no information from the Home Secretary about the costs today. Will she admit that the £120 million she has announced does not pay for a single person to be transferred? She has not actually got an agreement on the price for each person. In fact, the £120 million is the eye-watering price the Home Office is paying just for a press release. So what's the rest of the cost? What is the year's, this year's budget? How many people will it cover? The Home Office has briefed it might be £30,000 per person to cover up to three months accommodation, but that is already three times more than the ordinary cost of dealing with an asylum case in the UK. And her statement says she's going to provide five years of cost. Well, in Australia, Offshoring costs £1.7 million per person. per person. That is over 100 Seven times minutes. more than the ordinary asylum cost from here. So where is all the money going to come from in order to fund this plan? The only, she says she's going to save money on hotels, but the only reason we're paying a fortune in hotel costs is because the Home Office decision-making has totally collapsed. On her walk, Home Office are only taking 14,000 initial asylum decisions a year. That is half what they were doing five years ago, half, taking fewer decisions than Belgium, Netherlands, Austria, never mind France and Germany. So the costs to the UK taxpayer have soared by hundreds of millions of pounds because she is capable of taking the basic asylum decisions. And because she's not capable of taking those decisions, she is trying to pay Rwanda to take those decisions instead. Whether people are refugees or not, whether they are victims of modern slavery or not, whether they have family in the UK, whether they've come from Afghanistan, Syria or even Ukraine, she is asking them to do the job that she is not capable of. Mr Speaker, I should just say that response was just somewhat wholly predictable, um, if I may say so. And I think it's important just to say to everyone in the House right now, you cannot put a price on saving human lives. And everyone will respect that completely. And, Mr Speaker, if I may, the Honourable Lady was a minister in the Blair Government when the powers that have given this Government to undertake the legal basis of this policy were introduced um, back then. And I don't remember the current Home Secretary, Shadow Home Secretary, exploding in this in this synthetic rage when she occupied a seat in the Blair government when all those policies were put in action.